Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Turners Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Take one guess who this is. It's Dunbar. This is what Dunbar does when it's hot. He comes inside, he gets in the shade, and he gets in the water. Cools off. You guys are probably wondering, why is this frame here? Kevin built this frame because uh, mainly because of that guy right there. And one of the reasons is he likes to flip the water trough. And so instead of him actually getting his horns on this lip right here, um, Kevin built that and he actually can't flip it now. And so I think that ticks him off. So instead, um, this is a way for him to cool off and he still finds a way to dirty it up, but at least he doesn't flip it now. So yes, I'm talking about you our character of the herd. I promise this is not the only water that they can drink. Don't forget we have the automatic waters, thank gosh, because this is basically his his pool or his pond. So I know a lot of you are going, build him a pond, build him a pond. Guys, I know some of you think that a pond is the answer for this, but it's not. A pond, first of all, it takes up acreage. Second of all, it costs money to build a pond. Hopefully the ground where you build it holds the actual water in and uh, it takes up acreage. You lose more forage. Plus it's not as reliable. You hope that you get rain. We are in a drought here, like most of America right now, at least the Western half of America. And if you build a pond, <laughs> it sucker would be probably dry right now, unless we've had a lot of rain. So we haven't. Uh, yes, it would be nice for him to get in a pond, and they will get in ponds and places. And if you've already got the ponds on your land, that's great. That's why we started the automatic water system is so that you would have good, clean. That's another thing. Good, clean, fresh water, which is what we want for the bison. Sometimes the ponds aren't the greatest, but that, you know, there are some good ponds, and they, some of them actually have good water sources. Not dogging on ponds at all. We're just not going to build any for this guy or for our herd. We've got the fresh water like hundreds of feet down in from our water well. Good, clean Arbuckle Simpson aquifer water, which is great. We also have roll water too. Dunbar, what in the world? Here we go again. I'm cooling off, big dog. Does that feel good? Hey, big guy. I bet that water is tasty. He's over here grappling. He locks the spot right here. Okay, dokey. Good chat. kind of crazy but I get this question quite a bit what are your treats what's your cake that you feed the bison this is what it says right here it's a 14 percent cattle cube it's a three-quarter size we get the biggest size that you can get and that's basically just reducing waste is all that is you can get them a lot smaller we use these and one of the reasons we use them for treats is you can just shove them in the bison's mouth basically when they uh when you go to feed them you can throw it out in the field like I said, it, the, the size of it, they're gonna eventually find it uh, because of how big it is. And then, uh, I mean, these things are a lifesaver and it's been great for us because we can rattle that bucket and you know what happens when we rattle that bucket or they see him drive out there or they see the green machine. <music> Then 
they know what the green machine has and that means we have these so these are a lifesaver this is not something that we feed our animals every day right now we're not really feeding our animals because they're grazing which is what they're supposed to be doing when we do want to move our animals and rotate pastures or anything like that sometimes you need feed sometimes you don't they just see the green machine and they follow it just like big joe when he actually went through the squeeze chute for the first time these are the treats that he got and he loves them thankful for these right here but we like to keep these handy i got about four new bags today so it'll cover us for a while Dunbar's at it again. Okay, we're back at the water tank here. So you guys know I put this out oh, here just recently. I put our barley bag out. I got a lot of recommendations for something. And guys, I just read the instructions. It said tie some weight to, the, to your barley bag and sink it. No, these tires are not very deep at all. And I know a lot of you, after put, me putting this out, a lot of you said, why didn't you just put the rock in the bag? Guys, I'm a former teacher, I just, I'm a rule book guy, most of the time. Don't quote me on that, but most of the time, I'm just following the instructions. I read what the instruction said, tie a string to some weight and sink it. This isn't very deep, I should have realized that. I'm gonna take your guys' advice. I'm gonna put the rock inside here, and um, then I'm going to put it back in. But I did reach my hand down in there to pick up these rocks that were down in here and man there is a lot of mud in here that's from these guys right here these yearling bulls that are in here what that means is i'm gonna eventually have to drain this when the heat goes away uh happy labor day by the way that means summer is pretty much over it doesn't feel like it because it's hot as heck down here and i know a lot of you are still feeling it in other parts of the country what that means for us is fall is coming soon for southern Oklahoma folks, and we like our fall. What I'll probably have to do, they'll eventually stop getting into it so it won't be so hot, but I'm gonna have to drain this, and I'm gonna drag you along with me on that. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm going to just put the rock, <laughs> we'll put the rock in the barley bag, and we're gonna sink it that way. Guys, I don't even know why I thought about it. I never thought about it until you guys recommended it to me, and I was like, why didn't I do that? So, I'm gonna do that. Um, and it should help in the meantime, but I mean there is a lot of silt and mud From these guys down in the bottom of this and I probably need to do that to the tire tanks at least once or twice a year Especially in the summer because you know, they're gonna get into it because it's hot You just saw what Dunbar did our boy yearlings are the worst at this. We know that for now We're just gonna put it back in there and see how it goes Well, I like to say it worked. It's gone. It's definitely down in there. Get it away from our pump. There you go, guys. I took your opinions and made it happen. Lumpy! Lumpy's hiding over there <laughs> in the tall weeds. What a hooligan.
I love hanging out with this guy. He never disappoints. Hey guys, check it out right here. Got a new security camera. It's real link. Just gonna test this out. I don't know a lot about it, but one thing that I did like about it is this sucker can turn left and right. I think it gets like not 360 degrees around, but it's about 340, I believe. I love that. And it's got a solar panel, so you can basically put it anywhere. I'm gonna take it out of the box and check it out and see what I can do with it. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this out. I'm gonna try to get some good footage off of it. So we're gonna test it out. What I'll do is I'll do a formal introduction of this and really break it down for you. This is the first time I've ever used it. It is a real link solar panel, Geo PT. And I'm gonna hang it up where I can see the bison and check on them basically whenever I want to. And so I just gotta find a place for it. That's kind of the key right now. We'll keep you guys updated with this. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. Just catching up on some farm stuff, doing random things that you always gotta take care of out on the farm and ranch. Same stuff a lot of you done, may have done before. So anyways, everybody's doing good. Just wanted to catch up with you guys, let you know what's going around the ranch. I'll get that camera going once I kind of learn it a little bit. And I think it'll be really nice to be able to check on the bison just whenever. I know mom and Kevin are here and he always checks on the bison and whatnot, but. Dunbar! He keeps an eye on the bison really well and helps take care of him. But um, just stuff you gotta do around the ranch. Thank you guys for watching us. Oh, by the way, stay tuned. Got some new shirts coming and uh, got some long sleeve coming because fall will be here. Thank you guys.